good morning. Another beautiful day at Lushasang. The sun is out, it's bright. Our wood is here. Oh my gosh, the French man would be proud of our wood store. So here we are. Our wood is now. Oh, I don't know if you can see that to the sun. Oh, that's probably a bad angle. Hold on. Our car is literally enveloped in our wood store. It's fantastically stacked and we are ready for winter. Bonjour, it's the morning walk and it's a fantastic day. The sun is out, the sky is blue and we're off of our usual woodland walk. Come on Bert. Oh, it's so fresh. Such a beautiful morning. Quite warm really. Um, we've only had to have the fire on in the evenings at um, sort of six, seven o'clock onwards, just for a couple of hours uh, as it gets a bit cooler. So amazing weather for November. The trees are stunning and we're just getting out and making the most of it. You don't know whether you can see the mountains in the distance and do Le Mange, which is our next village along. And that's the pathway that we've just come along. Anyway, we're going to get on with our walk, so I'll catch you later. Here we are, Bert, at the top of the hill. It's so pretty up here. The trees, the rolling fields, just so gorgeous. And you just, the camera does just not do it justice. You know, I've seen it with my eyeballs and the mountains. This is the uh, Mont Dorsky area, um, which is, as you can see, not too far away from us. And it's just magnificent. Let's see if we can zoom in. Just so beautiful. But you know, you'll have to come here to see it, guys, and you're more than welcome. We hope to see you soon. Hello. Um, I just wanted to quickly talk to you about our progress. Um, we've been uh, working in the garden using the digger. Um, we've just been trying to get through that not weed patch. I'll show you more about that on another video. Um, but yeah, it's just a quick update. We're progressing with the barn very, very slowly because we've had a load of rain and then some fantastic sunny weather. So uh, we just need to catch up on a few other chores. That included uh, using the digger to just clear out some ground to get our wood store all packed in, which I think we've shown you earlier in the video. And um, we've also been clearing the barn. Uh, we're into bays two and three now to start getting rid of the floor in there. But first of all, before we did that, we had to move all of the rubbish and tackle a very dangerous floor. So um, I'll show you us doing that next. So here is the barn, bay two and three. Now cleared and ready for the floor to come down. There's Simon. Give us a wave. He's just checking out this beam up here. Checking that it's solid and we're going to start putting a bit of a protective covering on the roof so we can work on it. So I'll take you to the door across there very carefully and then we'll look out the other way. So this we hope to be the dining hall. So here we go. Fingers crossed that I don't fall down any holes. Right, I'm across, I'm across. Whoop. Okay. Oh, over to the door. We'll have a look out there in a minute. So let's have a look outside and up to the garden. So we thought this would make a really nice dining area. We can open it right out. Simon's standing in the utility room, which will take us through to the house. And that'll be over two floors. So we'll probably put a new floor down and put a railing in there. And then these two to three bays, I think is going to be the dining hall. And then further along there will be two floors open once the floor's gone, open to the rafters. And that'll be Simon's workshop. So yeah, here we are. We have got bays two and three now cleared so that we can start to take out the holy floor. Okay, let's have a little look out of this 
door. Nope. So here's the door at the back. <laughs> I'm going to put some steps up here. So just look at that. Ooh. See the tank down there, the septic tank. All the delivery that we've had out onto the woodland. There are the cars. Just cleared the woodshed. You can just see that now. That's ready for our wood delivery on Tuesday. And yeah, it's quite a good view up here, actually. I can look at the terrible roof of the bread oven. That lean-to bit's coming down, I think, but we'll probably put a half roof on there. Just, we're still going to have some kind of shelter, but maybe not to the full extent. That's coming off soon. We've used a lot of those tiles, actually, to repair that roof over there. So, yeah, more progress. Off we go to the supermarket. Whoop. So this is our little commute to the supermarket and we're just going to go down our road and into the little village of Shard. Sha, sorry, pronunciation. Or pronunciation. <laughs> Pronounce it right. And what a glorious day it is. Again, and it's November. Loads of beautiful chestnuts coming down. Been nibbling on those as an evening snack from the uh, fire. Nice and roasted. The farmers are doing lots of work, tree clearing. This road's been cleared actually very recently because there are loads of leaves on it, which makes it lethal. Uh, but now a lot of it, the leaves have fallen so that's been cleared look at the colors it's beautiful and you can just see our village here so it takes us how long do you reckon it takes us simon to walk down here 10 minutes 15 minutes yeah so we're in this is lockdown life so it's quite quiet the little cows are all out there loads of cars still our church there um, oh yeah, our little village hall here, which is really cute. Sorry, I blinded everyone with the sunshine there. But yeah, November, and look at the sky, it's absolutely amazing. Really warm, I've got all my drying out on the line while we go to the shops. So, you know, lockdown ain't so bad. That's the gates to the chateau there. They're in residence at the moment. We'll get another view of that as we go past. Here's Rebecca's house. That's the lovely weeping willow at their place. And then if we just look round here, as we go past, this is the chateau and the grounds. I don't think you can see it from there. Probably have another look on the way, on the way back. Some beautiful houses here such a pretty place so lockdown life isn't really much different for us um, this is the way cruise is very quiet we were told that it could be bleak in the winter so uh, if this is the bleakness then long may that continue it's not without rain and cold it certainly can get chilly but uh, got a lovely fire and we get days like this in between so it's still sunglasses weather anyhow this is our little drive it's pretty much like this all the way for 20 minutes 20 minutes less than 20 minutes to our local shop and the roads are very windy and uh, we have to keep our eyes peeled because sometimes French trucks like to drive on the other side of the road so uh, we have to take a lot of care oh now this is something exciting that I need to tell you here are our fiber optic cables Woo! we think they're gonna be laid pretty soon uh, we were told that they were coming um, unless they're just our general electricity lines which I 
we're going to be buried, which would also be amazing because uh, we can get rid of all these poles and lines. A lot of these are telephone wires actually, the, the electricity tends to go on a, a concrete pylon type thing. But uh, all the way along our drive now to the supermarket we see um, those big coils and we're assuming that it's um, fibre optic and if that's the case, wow, connected hard connected to the internet that's uh, fantastic but the wi-fi is really great here as well lots of wildlife on this pond usually i've seen loads of creatures swimming in there and uh, like a large otter type thing oh there's another coil so um 